Hey, 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 everybody. Emily Phillips here, founder and CEO. Let me tell you just a very quick story. The year is 2022. The beginning of the year started out really well for me. We started Just Lean In, one of the most exciting times of my life, on a constant high, doing the things that I love to do. Great, great, great start to the year. Then come mid-year, comes mid-year. Husband gets bit by a snake. Very scared. We thought he wasn't going to make it. Thankfully, he did, but it was extremely stressful time. This went on for about two weeks, um, and it was very, very, very scary and probably added a lot of fight and flight response to my body and added stress. Second thing that happens, my son, Bo, gets diagnosed with some pros bleh, sensory processing problems. As a mother, you know there's nothing more stressful than thinking there's something wrong with your child, especially me, because for me, I'm also an entrepreneur. I am not, I, I, I work and I'm a mother. And so this was a very big challenge that came to me and I had zero idea of what to do and zero idea of how to fix it. And I was deeply scared. Um, so begin grieving that situation. Third thing happens, I get COVID and flu all in one week. Great to see you, Rita, on the call. That was very, very, very sick time. It was the week of August 25th. I was extremely ill that week, and so was my mother. The following week, my brother passes away, my only sibling, 41 years old. The most devastating event and trauma of my life. So you take snake, bow, sick, death, very, very difficult times. Now, I don't share this to say I'm having a rougher year than you. We all are faced with tragedy. I hope that you don't have to go through the one I recently did, experiencing a death and unnatural order. But what happens is, is it's not what happens to us. It's how we react to it. Now, the first couple of weeks after Chris died, my body did a double take. I lost 10 pounds because I wasn't eating. And then as I started eating again, I gained it back and more. So over the last couple of weeks, I've started my own program back with Just Lean In. And I have had to make conscious decisions to start it. When I asked the question in this video, I specifically said, do you feel that you deserve to lose weight? Well, what I mean by that is, do you really feel that you deserve to lose weight? And we've talked about, if you go back into our feed and you type in self-sabotage in Facebook, you will see a live video that I did about self-sabotage. And what that means is, is if you weigh 165 pounds and you're trying to lose 10 pounds and you get to 160, your body naturally feels uncomfortable even though it's going in the right direction. So you will naturally eat more to gain the five back. I know it sounds crazy, but it's a real thing and it happens. Stacy, McGuire, O'Neill, great to see you tonight. So what you have to consciously know and do is feel like you are going to deserve the weight loss and reset your goals because we all create self-sabotage and i do a whole a whole series live on this if you type in self-sabotage in this group at the top of the search bar you will see how that works when i talk about pain versus pleasure let me give you an example today today was a more difficult day for Bo. Uh, because of all the work he's been doing, which we are here, by the way, in Pennsylvania for two weeks with Bo. And, and that gives you another example of my commitment to, to him and while still trying to build this business and with a handicapped neck, which I didn't talk about in a minute. I didn't talk about, but I'm going to talk to you about it right now so that you can. I don't ever want to tell you guys something that I haven't experienced. Living in chronic pain is a real challenge, and it is something that I work to overcome every day, but we'll get to that in a second. So he had a rough day today. We were driving home from my good friend Ellie's house, who is part of Just Lean In, and it was a beautiful drive, but I was very tired. And all I wanted to do was come back to the hotel. I only had 2,500 steps in. I wanted to come back to the hotel, sit on the couch, 
watch some true crime and go to sleep. And I kept, and I, and I knew I felt guilty about it. And the reason I knew I felt guilty is because I texted my fitness coach, Jen Rue, and said, I don't think I'm going to get this workout in today because I'm tired, but I'll make up for it tomorrow. And I thought about it all the way home and I dreaded it and I thought about it and I dreaded it. But you know what? I made a decision. I made a conscious decision that I'm actually going to walk in the hotel room. I'm going to grab my earphones and I'm going to turn around back in the hallway. I'm going to turn on some self-development and I'm going to walk the halls till I hit 10,000. Did my body and brain want to? Absolutely not. But in that moment, I made a conscious decision that the pleasure I would receive after walking 10,000 steps would be greater than the pain that happened me making the decision to walk the 10,000 steps. Another suggestion, you go out to dinner, a margarita looks fantastic, sounds fantastic. Wouldn't you like to just get away for a moment? Does the pleasure of getting away for a moment, really dehydrating the body, screwing up your insulin, and retaining water for days and getting out of tr and getting off track, maybe saying things that you didn't want to say, doing things you didn't want to do, maybe getting in arguments that you didn't mean to get into because yes, tequila does that to people. Is that worth, is that worth that moment of pleasure? Is that worth all the consequences? Or is a topa chica with lime and having real deep depth conversation is that better in experiencing success and relief as you have a good night's sleep and are productive the next day? I don't know. You answer that question for me. What is more important to you? The 20 or 30 minutes of kind of leaving your brain for a minute, lowering your inhibitions, and then experiencing all the things we talked about, or is it better to have that topa chica with lime have an in-depth conversation where you're fully aware of everything you're saying and having a good night's sleep and getting productive the next day. You tell me. So one of the things that I want to talk to you guys about tonight is every single decision that you make on a daily basis is either going towards your health or against your health. And you're probably thinking, what do you mean every decision? Well, that's right. Every single decision. When you wake up in the morning, what time do you wake up in the morning? That affects your health. How do you wake up in the morning? Do you get up and drink a hot cup of coffee first or do you grab some water? That affects you. Do you brush your teeth or do you not? Yes, tooth decay has a lot to do with your health. Do you get up in the morning and immediately turn on the news? Yes, that affects your mental health. Do you get up in the morning and journal or read or, or spend some time with your children? That has an effect on your mental health. Do you have a cluttered place? Is your house cluttered? that affects your health that can affect your mental health which can affect your weight loss a lot of times if you want to know how somebody's feeling on the inside look at how they present themselves and look at their environment and it's a really good indication of what's going on on the inside next thing what do you do the mid-afternoon if you want to take a 30 minute if you're a napper and you have an opportunity to take a 30 minute nap that might be a good solution if naps don't work well for you, it might turn into a two hour nap and slow you down for the rest of the day. Is grabbing a, a handful of Skittles, is that pleasure so important that you're willing to, to get the pain 30 minutes later that's going to occur from that? Making the choices that we provide and just lean in. Are you willing to make those choices to receive the pleasure later? Some of you might say I would take the Skittles. That's okay. But just ask yourself these questions. Are you willing to make small what you think are sacrifices to get the pleasure later? I got my 10,000 steps in. My brain is on fire. Rita has been retweaking my, my program for Just Lean In, and I'm extremely focused. Did I want to do some of these things? No. What my brain wanted to do was come in the hotel room, sit down, watch true crime. I didn't even want to take a shower. And, 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 and stay on 2,500 steps. But I made a decision in my hotel room to get in the hallway, and it's about a 45 to 55 minute walk up and down the hallway. Yeah, people kind of looking at me funny. But I guess what I did? I built my self-esteem because of my personal development. Summer Schwartz, how are you doing tonight? Great to see you. And I got the blood pumping and the mind flowing. And now I'm here giving you good content that you can use. So it's got a big knock on effect. 
want to talk to you a little bit about another thing that I deal with personally. As you can tell on these lives, my neck, my chin is stuck to my chest. That means that my chakra in my throat is always blocked. Do you see me trying to lift my head? Look at that. Look at that. Now I can lift my head for just a second. Okay, but in a minute, it's going to fall back down. You will often see me holding my head. Why do I tell you this? I don't want any sympathy from any of you. And I don't want you to feel sorry for me. But I do have a rare disease called cervical dystonia. I only tell you this because we do have members and non-members that will tell us that they are depressed or can't do things because they are in chronic pain and that they have disabilities. And I'm going to tell you, I have a disability, a very serious disability. Now it's not fatal, thank God, but I can't eat out at restaurants. I can't hold my child very well. I can't grocery shop because when I turn the cart, my neck turns. It's very difficult for me to do calls like this. It's also difficult for me to exercise, but I make decisions to do them anyway, and I don't let my disability control me. Now, I know there are some of you that can't absolutely medically do certain things because of your disability, and those, I'm not talking to you, but I'm talking to those of you that could still take a walk. I know many of you that have health issues can still walk, even if it's just a little bit, and I'm asking you to think to yourself, if Emily, with death, snake bites, child with some challenges we're working on and being really sick this year and having this constant constant problem if she can do it so can i and that's why i tell you this so don't limit yourself so when you go to bed tonight here's what i this is really what i want to hit home on this live the decisions i am making every decision do you know that we make like thousands and thousands and thousands maybe a hundred thousands of decisions a day we think about when we put our watch on, which arm does it go on? When we put on a shirt, when we put on a bra, when we brush our teeth, when we're going to take a shower, what we're going to watch, what we're going to look at. And technology has made it so much worse. Every decision that you can try it for the next 24 hours to be incredibly conscious of every single decision you make. From the time you go to the bed to the time you wake up, how much water you're drinking, what you are eating, what you're not eating, how much you're moving, the language you're speaking to yourself, the language you speak to yourself, yourself listens to. So if you don't believe you deserve to lose weight, then you're not going to. Because you are changing, when you, when you are, what you think is who you are. I think who I am. I think there's a quote like that. I think and I am. There's a great book I'd recommend. It's called As a Man Thinketh, So Is He. Now, I'm a Christian, and I believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe he's the son of God, but I also believe there's energies out there, and I believe we attract what we think about. And that goes with relationships, and that goes with food, and that goes with our size, and that goes with everything we do in life. And if you are finding yourself to self-sabotage your diet, there might be something else going on. And this goes for all of us. There could be something that is triggering us to not believe that we deserve to be in the best shape that we can be in. Some of us are living in what we call fight or flight mode. And I'm going to do a whole tape, tape series, a whole life series on what it means to live in fight or flight. And that means that you're all in or you're all out. And I want all of you right now just to feel your stomach. Are you cleansing your teeth? Are you, are you, do you have a lot of energy here right in your stomach that's cramped up? and just release it because a lot of us are living in fight or flight. I tell you all of the challenges I had this year to tell you that I'm still standing. We're still building Just Lean In. We're still changing lives, life by life. We're, we have the most incredible things happening for 2023. Jen is not allowing me to say them yet because we haven't made them official, but I am literally so excited if you guys, when you guys find out, what you guys are going to get as members of Just Lean In next year, you will, you will, like, you're going to freak out. We have so much coming for you. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more topics and lives like this, but just wait till you find out what we're going to be offering. Nobody, nobody else is doing what we're about to do. So anyway, you do deserve it. You do deserve to lose weight, but you got to, you, I can say that to you. You got to figure that out. You got to decide how much you deserve to weigh. 
and you have to be the one that decides what decisions you make and you have to be the one decides is the pain is the pleasure of the margarita worth the pain later I, if this helped anybody i ask that you comment on this video you share this video with your friends you bring them into this group and you tell them yes you do deserve it and yes december is going to be a great month and you're going to do some things in december that's going to make january even better so comment hit like i love you just lean in make it a great saturday night if you've already had a few drinks it's okay tomorrow's a new day just get a lot of water in send us a message cyber money ends tomorrow guys have a great night and just lean in just lean in